Today, we are going to be going over the top mistakes that beginner tennis players make. So, we are going to start out with just what I did, okay? If you saw me hit those two forehands, I'm going to freeze right now, okay? This is tip number one, or the number one mistake that beginners make, okay? They hold their grip too high on the racket. Once again, beginners, they grip the racket up here. It will feel better, don't get me wrong. It's going to feel good when you're starting out up here, but the thing is, is that you're going to have no leverage, and you need to have leverage while you're playing tennis. So, number one, again, you don't want to grip high, you want to grip low on the racket, okay? You want to grip low that you can see a little bit of palm still on your hand, okay? You don't want to be choked up on the grip, okay? That's number one. Then the second thing, my ball went super long because I gripped the racket too tight. If you grip the racket too tight, it's not going to be right. Players grip the racket too tight, they try to swing, and their ball goes super long. Remember, in tennis, to gain control, you have to give up control. The more you let the racket work for you and don't work for the racket, the better it's going to be. So again, you need to make sure that you grip the racket super low and that you hold the racket loose. Let the racket work for you, don't work for the racket. If I came up to you right now and I held my racket like this, you come up to me right now and try to take the racket out of my hand, it would come right out of my hand. That's what you guys need to do. If you guys are gripping this racket super tight, which probably many of you are, if someone came up and tried to get the racket out of your hand, you wouldn't let it go. You have to let it hold it loose, okay? Two great ways to do it. Number one, you're gonna hold two fingers and your thumb. You're gonna grip the racket like this and you're gonna do some shadow swings, right? And then you're gonna hit. It's gonna teach you how to hold it loose. Another thing that you can do is you can squeeze your dominant wrist with your non-dominant hand, okay? And you're going to hit again and feel that looseness. By squeezing your wrist, it's going to not allow you to squeeze your racket super tight and it's gonna teach you that muscle memory, okay? So hold the racket low and grip the racket loose, okay? That's the first thing. Now the second thing, okay, players, they're holding the racket low, they're gripping the racket loose, but their ball is still going long. A lot of beginners, when they swing, they end up going like this. Again, a lot of beginners, when they swing, they end up going like this. I'm going to turn around to you guys now. Here we are when we swing. A lot of beginners, they end up going like this. What is wrong with the pitch picture? Well, when the ball makes contact with my racket strings, where's the ball going, going to go? It's going to go up in the air super high. A lot of players, they can't control their ball and their ball goes super long because when they make contact with the ball, their strings are open, okay? This is your racket face right here, okay? Once again, this is your racket face. You always want to make sure that the face of your racket is tilted downward, okay? Once again, you always want to make sure that this face of your racket is tilted downwards throughout your shot, okay? You need to make sure the strings are down so then you can get below and under the ball and hit topspin rather than have your strings up and sky the ball like you're in the home run derby, okay? So a lot of players, they have their racket face tilted upwards. How do we fix that? All you're going to do is tilt the racket downwards. When I start out with beginners, I'm not a big grip guy, okay? Oh, you should be in the forehand continental semi-western. No, all you gotta do is tilt the racket downwards and do whatever feels comfortable. You don't wanna be down here like Jack Sock, but you don't wanna be super continental. You want to just have it tilted between continental, western, anywhere in between, okay? So again, keep the strings tilted down, okay? Now this is the next thing, okay? Please stay in the ride at all times. Please keep your strings down at all times. A lot of players, they'll tilt their strings down, but what's going to happen is during their stroke, they're going to open up the racket face and it's going to go up. They're going to try to generate spin. So they're either going to go like this or they're going to go like this. Trying to generate spin, they're going to miss it, okay? You never want to turn your wrist. Your wrist always wants to stay in the same position the whole time. Again, when I turn my wrist, it's never gonna work, okay? So I need to make sure, again, my wrist is here throughout the whole shot, okay? A great way to demonstrate the way that your wrist should be, it's very simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna do a wave, right? You're gonna wave at someone, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna tilt your wave here, and you're gonna go like this. Again, I'm never turning the ignition. All I'm doing is doing a wave, and I'm waving to the side, okay? That's the next thing that beginners play go wrong, okay? The next thing, okay, they don't turn. You need to turn in tennis. If you don't turn, you're not going to have any leverage. You're not going to have any momentum. A lot of players, they're swinging like this, okay? And when they're swinging like this, I forgot to even tell you guys about this, okay? A lot of players, they swing like this. You need to swing low to high. Let it fly. Low to high, okay? If you want to think of a clock, 12 o'clock's up here, 6 o'clock's down here, all you're going to do is swing 6 to 12. You're going to swing low to high. Low to high, let it fly, okay? You need to do two things in tennis. Number one, you got to hit the ball forward to get over the net. 
Oh, I, I messed up. Number one, you gotta hit the ball forward, but then number two, you gotta swing up to get the ball over the net. How do we accomplish both things? All you're gonna do is swing low to high, okay? The, again, by swinging low to high, it's going to get the ball over the net. Now, the next thing is while you're swinging low to high, you need to make sure that you're sideways. A lot of players are facing forwards and they're trying to swing. Okay? You need to make sure that you are sideways. Now, regardless of your age, if you're a four-year-old, if you're an 80-year-old, it doesn't matter. You're going to think that you are on your surfboard. Again, a great way to ensure that you always turn sideways is just think that you're on your surfboard every single time. My body is sideways at all times, and then I'm going to swing again. Backhand too. I'm on my surfboard and then I'm going to swing, okay? So if you're a beginner, if you're just starting out, make sure again, you grip the racket low, you hold the racket loose, you swing low to high, you turn your body, you keep your strings down, and you're gonna be so much better off while you play tennis. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if this video helped you, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure to check the eBooks out. I just released them, links in the description. Make sure to follow me on Instagram,